Ramai yang menggemari berbagai jenis makanan yang berubah dari kentang. Hari ini kita akan ke sebuah negeri di pantai barat mereka, Idaho, untuk melihat bagaimana industri kentang diusahakan. This may look like a pile of potatoes at your favorite grocery store, but these are fresh from the field. It's potato harvest time in Idaho. Produce in Idaho Falls, pulling up potatoes from 60 miles of farm fields. The Tandon advertises themselves as the largest marketer of fresh potatoes in North America. Deadlines and delivery. Oh, and I want to show you the next part of the harvest. They come in by truckload, go up this conveyor belt, and inside of this potato cellar, which will hold 50,000 bags that are 100 pounds each filled with potatoes. And you can't talk taters without the region's famous russet variety. Ini merupakan makanan kesukaan ramai dalam pelbagai masyarakat di seluruh dunia. Kita akan melawat sebuah negeri di Tenggara Amerika Syarikat yang mengusahakan tanaman ini secara meluas dan merupakan penghasil utama buah limau di Amerika Syarikat. Kita akan ke Florida dan menyaksikan industri limau diusahakan di sana. For generations, Florida citrus growers have been producing some of the finest oranges in the world. In fact, about 75% of the oranges produced in the United States are grown in Florida. It's Florida's unique sandy soil and subtropical climate that create ideal growing conditions. The majority of Florida's orange crop is processed into juice to supply more than 80% of America's orange juice each year. Since citrus fruit will not continue to ripen after being picked, oranges are harvested when they reach the peak level of sweetness and juiciness. Most oranges are still hand-picked, one by one. Workers place the ripe fruit in large canvas bags, which are then unloaded into containers. Special vehicles called goats transport harvested fruit from the grove to trucks, waiting to deliver oranges to a nearby processing plant. There, fruit is unloaded onto conveyor belts and washed to remove any dirt, then separated by size. To ensure that quality fruit is used to make Florida orange juice, oranges pass through several inspections. Orange juice is processed in strict compliance with all USDA and FDA regulations. State-of-the-art extracting machines squeeze just the right amount of juice from the fruit. Orange juice is pasteurized to ensure food safety. The juice is chilled, then blended for consistent quality and taste, and packaged into containers. Cartons of juice are labeled and loaded onto pallets. These pallets are shipped directly to stores across the country. Dari Florida kita menuju ke selatan Amerika Tengah dan singgah di sebuah negara yaitu Honduras. Di negara ini kita akan menyaksikan bagaimana mereka mengusahakan Suatu industri yang satu ketika dahulu merupakan antara sektor penting dalam bidang pertanian di Malaysia iaitu perusahaan nenas. Kita saksikan bagaimana Honduras mengendalikan perusahaan nenas di negara mereka.
kalau tuan kita ke Amerika benua Amerika uh, akan diakhiri dengan mengunjungi sebuah lagi negara di Lautan Caribbean Costa Rica di negara ini kita akan menyaksikan bagaimana mereka berjaya memajukan industri pisang yang menjadi kekemaran makanan ramai terutamanya di Eropah sama-sama kita saksikan industri pisang di Costa Rica But unlike apples or pears we import our bananas from far off places Here in Costa Rica this plantation is the size of 324 football pitches The workers use a pulley system to get themselves around It's meant to transport the fruit but catching a lift saves them from walking Modern bananas are sterile so each new plant must be taken from an old cutting This is pretty tough work as the plants can grow several meters tall If the workers didn't replant each year the plantation would stop producing Once the fruit begins to emerge the plants must be pruned The large purple flowers at the base divert energy that will produce bigger, tastier bananas, so the workers remove it. The remaining bunches are put into bags coated with insecticides to protect them from being eaten. To keep the insects at bay, the crops are also sprayed, but not by an aeroplane. They use a high-tech chopper, which is more agile. It's controlled by satellite technology which stops local workers being covered with pesticides in their own homes. These bananas have a radius of 3 cm and although they're not ripe yet, now is the perfect time to collect them. When the fruit has reached this ideal size, these guys have the job of preparing them for the packing plant. Their protective bags are removed and foam inserts are placed between the bunches. If the fruit have even the tiniest bruises, UK customers leave them on the shelf, so they're protected right from the start. Enormous bunches are loaded onto the pulley system and join a long traffic jam of other fruit heading for the processing plant. Now you'd need an enormous trolley to buy a bunch of 60 bananas with your weekly shopping. So now they're separated into smaller ones before being sent for a bath. Tough EU laws legislate for banana size, shape and even their curve. So the workers must be sure there are no slip-ups with any fruit that aren't up to scratch. Any that fail are thrown onto the waste conveyor, but they aren't discarded. They'll be used to feed local livestock or sent to be processed into baby food. The remaining bananas are then sent off for another bath, which kills off any spiders who may be trying to hitch a ride to a supermarket near you. The fruit is given its trademark branding and boxes are built to store them for their long journey across the Atlantic. This plantation has produced over 270,000 boxes of bananas. They're packed up and sent by the lorry load to the docks. Here, they're put on board ships in specially cooled containers for the journey to Europe. They won't be enjoying any sun on the deck though. It's an 11-day journey and being in the sun would ripen them too early. When they're finally unloaded, the bananas are still green. This means they can be stored until the shops need them. They're stacked in sealed ripening rooms. When the stores need them, these rooms will be flooded with ethylene gas. This gas ripens the bananas at a regular, measurable pace, which means the stores know exactly when they are ready for the shelves. So, from the exotic fields of a Costa Rican plantation to the supermarket trolley in the UK, the Brits are certainly bananas about their bananas.
kita tinggalkan benua Amerika dan terbang jauh kembali ke Asia. Kita singgah ke Suratani sebelum menaiki bot ke sebuah pulau di Teluk Siam, Koh Sumai. Di pulau ini kita akan melihat bagaimana perusahaan kelapa dikenalikan oleh penduduk-penduduk di sana. Satu lagi perusahaan yang telah kian dilupakan di tanah air. Kita saksikan industri kelapa di Koh Samai. Hasrat pulang awal ke tanah air dibatalkan. Kita terbang semula ke Afrika menjejak negara asal permata negara kelapa sawit. Kita saksikan bagaimana di negara asalnya kelapa sawit diusahakan. Jauh sudah perjalanan ini, sampai masanya kita kembali ke bumi bertuah ini. Kita menjadi saksi bagaimana tombangnya industri getah di negara kita. Kita juga turut menyaksikan bagaimana kita kehilangan dalam penguasaan industri nanas. Dan kemudian kita menjadi pengimport kepada kelapa. Hari ini kita saksikan bagaimana kita meneruskan usaha kita memajukan industri kelapa sawit.